All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And it has been a little while, but I've been hard at work at creating some GPTs and putting them to good use. And in this video, I am going to share with you one of my favorite GPTs is the Ahrefs List Post Generator. Now, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I'm a fan of using templates and making use of all the great information that is already readily available on the internet. If you're not familiar with Ahrefs, it is a company that owns a software for keyword research, SEO, etc. But they also have a tremendous amount of valuable information on their website. So when you go through all of these articles, you'll see that, wow, if we just were to follow these guidelines and consistently make use of this great information, we would do really well with our SEO uh, optimization efforts. So what we want to do is utilize this information in creating GPTs to help us along the way. One of the things that I like a lot is using their blog post template concepts. Now, when we're writing blog posts, they really, the majority of them are going to fall within a few different categories or styles. And they also have a couple of articles here that have about 10 different styles, but this one is a little bit easier to get rolling with. And this one has four of these blog post templates. And they consist of the list post, the step-by-step -step guide, the expanded definition, and of course, the beginner's guide. I created a GPT for a few of these, and I have been creating a lot of content with them, and I'm very happy with the result. I'm going to show you what I did and include it so that you can try it too. This one in particular is called the list post. So you could see the style of the list post here, or also known as a listicle. It has a certain structure to it that just works quite well. It has examples in here, and it also talks about the type of content, etc. So all of the information here about specifically how to do a good job creating one of these. So of course, we're going to go over to ChatGPT, created a GPT for this, and it is right there, the Ahrefs list post generator. And I'll show you what I have done here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edit GPT and go to configure. Now in here, one of the things I'm sure that those of you who have been tinkering with this have kind of figured out, sometimes when you overload the instructions here, it's just not going to follow all the instructions. A lot of times it just deletes what you tell it to do. And regardless of how good the instructions are here, sometimes you still have to prompt on purpose to get what you want. I'll show you here in a second. But what I've come up with here is you're an expert SEO copywriter with extensive knowledge of Google's EAT guidelines and write as if you were trained exclusively by the SEO company, Ahrefs. You write the blog post on a variety of topics in a style and tone that is professional, friendly, educational, supportive, and responsibly cautious. So this works pretty well for a lot of different topics. Of course, if you're in a certain niche where you need or a particular style, you're going to have to create this with your own flavor. Okay, but this is going to work generally by sharing this for most of you if you want to tinker with this. Now, also what I found is it tends to do certain things, for example, write in a, st in a structure that it just pleases to rather than following the post template. So I wrote, follow the list post structure precisely, including an intro paragraph structure and a conclusion, okay? Now, the last thing I put on here is to use words more often. I have tried to get GPT to reduce the usage of those commonly used AI terminology. I've talked about this before, but I have found that it's very hard to stop it from doing so. It is much easier to create a GPT to filter those words out after the article is written. But I have found that it works well to use uh, words to use more often and then insert this list. Typically, I strongly believe, I've observed firsthand situations, I have been involved in and in my experience. These are very helpful for the Google Eat guidelines. So those are included in the instructions. Now, the background information is three simple documents. Number one, this is Google's EAT guidelines directly from them. It is a PDF. Also, Ahrefs copywriting techniques and tricks. So this is a page from one of their blog posts. And also a list post overview. So this is from the page that I just showed you. There's web browsing, DALL-E image generation, and code interpreter. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell. So what we're going to do is we'll actually go over here. Okay, and then we're going to get it to generate the list post. So I'm just going to go out of here real quick and we'll start, where are we? Right there. So what we're going to do is ask it to do something very simple. Generate a list post from the template style. 
for the topic of best keyword research tools. Be sure to include an intro and conclusion paragraph. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell it to do, and we'll just see what it will generate. Now, regardless of how perfect you think your prompt is, sometimes it will omit certain things. Sometimes when you give it very simple instructions, it produces better results. This is kind of what we're consistently seeing here with AI-based tools. But if we look at what it started with here, it started with the title, 10 Best Keyword Research Tools for SEO Success. Not bad. And the introduction, when it comes to SEO, one of the critical steps is choosing the right keywords. And these tools will help you understand what your audience is searching for. I've observed firsthand situations where the right keyword research tools have transformed an SEO strategy, leading to significant traffic and ranking improvements. There you go. So this works really well based upon the information that we fed it from Hrefs post template. Then we have our, let's make sure we have them. We have all 10 have been included. And these are all very common keyword research tools, which are awesome. And then we have the conclusion. And it wraps it up very nicely, okay, based upon what we found up here. And of course, we get a dive into, right? But not too bad with where it is. And we have a nice listicle post. Now, of course, we I think most of you who are still kind of on the hunt to creating the perfect AI written content without any human touch, of course, as always, you're going to be most of the time disappointed. So you do need to go through here and kind of make it a little bit better as needed. But I think this article is pretty solid from the get-go that will require very little human editing. But I think this is one of the fastest ways to get some good quality content on here is creating some GPTs for these individual blog templates. And I'll be creating a few more videos and sharing these as well with you. So if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment down below what you'd like to see more of. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I create a new video and get it uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the GPT and I'll see you next time.